Hey Team Grimmy, this is Kara. I just wanted to share a couple of moments with you about the making of Hold Your Head Up. We were actually in me and Brennan's home studio in Nashville, Tennessee at the time. And this was about two weeks before Brennan and I were moving to LA. And Christina was actually planning on moving to LA as well pretty, pretty shortly after that. So we were all kind of talking about life and troubles and adventures and, you know, just things that are on the horizon that you can't really plan or that you can't really avoid. And that kind of got us thinking about the times when Christina's fans would be pretty transparent with her and open up to her about certain hardships and trials that they were going through. And she really opened up to me about how, how much that affected her. She hated seeing her fans upset and always talked about how she wished she could be there for them. Um, so we kind of talked about that leading into hold your head up high. And that just followed with the chorus, the lyrics, hold your head up high, hold your head up high. Even in the darkest night, everything that you do, I'll be there for you. And she was basically like, that's her, her anthem for her fans. You know, it's like she wanted them to know that she, if she could, she would be there for them anytime especially in their time of need. And that just goes to show what kind of person Christina was. If, you know, anytime you would meet her, you know, you would just immediately have some kind of connection to her. She's such a genuine spirit, so loving, so kind, so compassionate, and really did care about everybody. So obviously she cared about her fans and really wanted to um, write a song about that. And then during the session, we had so much fun. And Brendan and I had worked with her, I think the first time we started working with Christina was back in 2010 when we were introduced. And from the get-go, we, we had always, we hit it off. We were always really engaging and had a great time and everybody enjoyed their company and we always wrote great material together. But Hold Your Head Up was one of the songs that just seemed special. We really just... <laughs> We laughed a lot during the session. I remember <laughs> just being silly and watching Christina run around and jumping and laughing and just kind of being silly throughout the whole thing, but um, especially during the nanas, I remember, and there's probably a clip of us out there somewhere doing this, but during that part, she would just sing the song and, and then stop and like put her hands up in the air and just do like one of those crazy high notes that she always did and just laugh and just be like, sorry guys, sorry, I'm just excited. And then at one point she was singing the nanas, jumping up and down, pretending like she was in front of a big stage, like on a big stage in front of a big audience. And then she would run over to uh, the keyboard and just start playing crazy, cra crazy notes. And then at the very, very end, she would always be like, peace out, Brussels sprout. I, there's got to be a video of that somewhere. But I have really fond memories of that day just because there was a lot of laughter, a lot of love. Um, a lot of really wonderful memories that were made in that room. Not to mention having Tina there too. And um, just little did we know what the words would mean and how much of an impact they would leave on her, everyone that knew her now that she's gone, you know. So the words were special then, but they're just so much more amazing now that she's gone. So I feel very honored to have been a part of this song and I'm so grateful that it's coming out and that you guys can hear it and hopefully a lot of healing will come from this song and just know, um, I, I just think that I kind of feel like her voice for some reason in this moment just, just kind of saying all the things that I feel like maybe she'd want you guys to hear, especially through these lyrics, but just know that when you listen to these lyrics, she really did have you know, her fans and her family in mind. And, um, it was also sometimes the way that maybe God, God is with us, you know, and how God loves us and he'll be here for us even in our darkest times. So that's a pretty remarkable love and a pretty remarkable thing to, um, to understand. So, all right. I hope this, um, brings healing and I hope that you guys will love the song and, um, just hold your head up high.